Mixing together these two shades of silver, we can get a really nice swirl effect inside of the clay. And this is perfect for what we're going for because we're trying to make this Pokemon look like melted metal. We can form out the body and the arms all in one piece of clay. Keep in mind we want this to look very wavy and liquidy. Now we can move on to creating the head, which is golden, but I find that the gold out of the pack is just way too dark, and I always have to mix it with yellow, so I think this looks a lot nicer now. And let's check the size, that looks pretty good, so let's move on to creating the hexagon. First I'm drawing it out, and then we can cut it out after that using a knife. And we'll have to do the same thing inside of the middle of the head, which is sort of where the eye bounces around, so it needs to be hollowed out. I think maybe it's magnetic, I'm not quite sure about that. Now we can move on to creating the eye here, which is just a ball, but we're going to use some liquid clay later to sort of make it look like it's floating around, and hopefully that works out. Here we go with making the tail. It's sort of like Pikachu's tail, kind of like a lightning bolt shape. And at the end we have these two little prawns, sort of like how you plug something into an electric outlet. And we'll use some super glue to attach those after we bake it though. So here's the Fimo liquid clay I was talking about. This will hopefully work pretty good for creating the eye. Let's just pour a bunch of it onto the tray and make it a little thinner. And now Meltan is ready to get baked. After baking, there's a little bit of crafting and super gluing we have to do. Starting with this weird liquid clay. This stuff is very strange after you bake it, but I guess I could see where you could use it on a lot of clay figures, maybe like windows or glass. So here, let's cut out a basic shape and make it a bit smaller using scissors. And I think it's a pretty nice fit, so let's move on to super gluing it into place so we don't have it fall out. And we can see that it's pretty transparent. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's pretty decent. And let's put the eye on there, and now the back of the eye. We can super glue this whole head right onto the body. And we can move on to our final step here, which is the tail. So let's take these little prongs. I had to use a pliers for this because it was just too hard otherwise to attach these little pieces. And now the tail onto the back of the body. And here it is guys, Meltan. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can check out more videos on my channel and I'll see you all next Saturday.